at the very earliest stages of development, all cells are equally capable of giving rise to an entire organism. But after only a few rounds of cell division, the cells begin to lose this totipotency and to differentiate, sorting into groups that will either contribute to the placenta or to the embryo itself. In this eight-cell embryo, called a morula for its berry-like appearance, all cells express a pair of genes, CDX2 and OCT3-4. But as the cells of the morula go through their next round of division, CDX2 is downregulated in the innermost cells, while OCT3-4 remains expressed throughout. The segregation of these genes is maintained as the cells continue to divide, until after about 10 rounds of division, the embryo has become a hollow ball, known as a blastocyst. The outer layer of the blastocyst is made up entirely of cells that express CDX2. This trophectodermal layer will go on to become placenta. On the interior, OCT3-4 marks a small cluster of cells with phenomenal ability to differentiate. This inner cell mass is made up of cells with the developmental potential to give rise to all of the body's many cell lineages, an ability known as pluripotency. And indeed, every one of the cells in your own body can trace its ancestry back to these few dozen pluripotent stem cells. Mm -hmm.